How would you assess how you've looked throughout the first two weeks of training camp? Uh, improving a lot, learning a lot. Um, I'm excited. Um, just like getting in little details. I'm starting to do things on command. Starting to go as I, pretty much as I planned. So, I mean, I'm just, I, I, the, the practice reps are uh, invaluable. Uh, no, um, there's certain situations where, you know, I will, you know, I, I've gotten blocked, but, you know, I'm just, that's what I'm working towards is to be that. How have you, now that you've been in this scheme for a couple of weeks now, you've gotten a chance to both learn it on paper and now execute it. Do you feel that this is a system that's going to get the best out of you? Yes. And why so? Um, because it's more so like, it's, I don't, there's no indecision. There's, you know, what I've always had, like, there's no limiters. I've, if you kind of, like, put it as, like, um, I don't, and I'm not bashing anything I've played before. It's, like, kind of being, like, um, on chains and then breaking the chains. That's kind of how I feel in this system. It's just being unleashed. So. Where, where do you think you've improved the most? You say you're making improvements. Where do you think it's been the most? It's, you want, you want a whole list? I, I don't really want to go into that many much detail is just like things that I've seen on film from all the way from from college into when I played in the NFL I'm just I'm able to execute on command instead of like how did I do that how did I get my body to do that now I'm just like I know how to get my body to do that I know how to um it's just like I don't even know it's kind of like um it's kind of like a Neo in the Matrix you know when he just like the next movies, he's like, he's just doing it. That's kind of how I'm, what I'm getting to as a, as a player. Well, what do you think this pass rush and this D-line can be for this team? Sure. Uh, sky's the limit, but, you know, we just got we to gotta go out and do it. So, I mean, it's, I'm not going to sit there and say this, that, and the third. We have to go out in there and prove it, and then you got to go out there and stop the run first, and then you can have some fun. So that's also another thing. I mean, there's, there's I'm pretty sure there's plenty of good – pass rush and defensive groups, but they never stop the run. So it's always like third and three and third and short. And they never get, actually get to show their true talent. So that's that's something you got to keep in mind. Robert told us that next week uh, for those joint practices against the Packers, uh, Quinnen is going to be back out there with you guys, which means he's going to be next to you. Are you excited to, to see that for the first time, to be lined up next to him? Yeah, you know, I'm excited to get him out there so we could get, you know, everybody rolling you know what i'm saying like this is a good group deep talented group and i'm excited for him to come out there and be able to learn and and um develop and get in the nuance of the scheme just like i have it's uh it's so fun to be able to do that you know to be able to just go out there and improve upon a rep that you had the day before so now when you see it the next day you're like how do i make this the best possible thing for me and how do i you know make plays within the defense so i mean i, I think he's excited to go do that and i'm excited for him you have your own expectations. Do you sense the expectations now that the fans have on you to be that guy that's been missing for so long here? Uh, no. Like I said, like I have my own expectations. I mean, I just like I'm I'm the hardest critic on myself, like day in and day out. Like I don't. So I mean, I never. No, I and I appreciate. I want to go play for fans. I want to do the best I can. But I mean, ne not really. What's your favorite preseason call? You got it. Like to get some preseason reps? Or of right? course, yeah, of course. Because I mean, you just like I said, I think this league is about matchups, and um, it's a different body types, different tackles, different schemes, different like. Yeah, I want to be able to be a dominant against them all. You know what I'm saying? And I want to be that's what, that's the player I'm striving to be. So yeah, I, I definitely want to get some preseason reps. But if if not, that's up to the organization. I, I don't know, but I'm ready to go out there and and play. Carl. Inspiring was it for you to get to watch uh, Rachel in Tokyo? Oh, it was super inspiring. I mean, like, you know, that's, that's bro, you went to the Olympics. I mean, better at my field right now than, than I am. I, she's better in her field than I am right now at mine. So I'm, I'm trying to, you know, be an Olympic defensive end. <laughs> Carl, what, um, what goes into when you're rushing, the, you know, trying to rush the quarterback, uh, when you see it off of the tackle, is it, you know, you're quickly reading what he's doing or you're just going off of instincts? Sometimes, I mean, it's hard to explain, like, uh, Yes and no. Like, I have my own plan, but I'm also going to – I'm not – if my plan isn't something that's going to be his weakness, why would I do it? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I have an arsenal of moves I'm trying to develop and, or just an arsenal of techniques that, um, that I want to have against different opponents and, if, and to be able to enforce them. So, I mean, it's like – I don't know if that kind of answers your question. 
Um, you, you have this one move where like you, you put out your left arm and you really drive into the offensive lineman. There's been a few plays last year where you were able to get some mm -hmm. sacks off of that. So like what goes into that move being effective for you? Um, leverage and, and hand placement. That's that's pretty much for that. Leverage, hand placement and angles and, and just overall just being strong. <laughs> I mean like not many people could do it, so I mean it's <laughs> When you, um, when you came into the league, how many moves did you have to rush a passer compared to how many moves you have now? So a lot of times it's like, um, it, it's kind of like necessary, like I've never been able to develop them. I've, I've only been a starter last year, you know what I'm saying? So last year was putting all that stuff on tape and getting experience to develop different moves and try it out. So when you're a third down pass rusher, you have to go in there, you have to win immediately. So I'll probably only say one move, you know what I'm saying? I got to win with that one move, you know, which was favorable against a lot of left tackles, but it's just, so I pretty much say like one move that I couldn't even really get on command. You know what I'm saying? It just had to, sometimes it had to work, sometimes it didn't. So maybe one or two moves, that's it. This is yeah. probably a hard question, Carl. You just mentioned you were a starter last year. We watch you and you can see your talent. It's obvious watching this. Why weren't you a starter before last year in Cincinnati? It was more so, it was more so a development scheme when Marvin Lewis was there. I was, I was a hybrid linebacker and then a defensive end. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, um, it was base situations. I was supposed to be a linebacker and nickel situations. Um, I was a pass rusher. That's what his, he envisioned for me. Um, and, but, you know, sometimes, a lot of times in this league, you don't even get to, you don't even get to uh, base personnel. So, you know, it's, it's only two linebackers on the field at the time anyway. So that just kind of never really unfolded. And then I was coming off an injury when uh, I think my third year, and they just, like, you know, wanted to ease me back into it. And it wasn't not necessarily, like, competition for the spot. They just wanted me in a certain role. And I'm a professional, so whatever the organization wants me to do, I'm going to do. So I think that's kind of more. It wasn't necessarily talent or anything about playing the run or anything like that. It's just the situation at hand. So that's kind of, but when you, you get better at football by being able to play football. So like last season was really like, it was, I, I was ecstatic to be able to play it. Cause I mean, like now I can, I can pull from those reps. I can improve on those reps. So now when I see something again, I can go out there and, and execute and you know, continue to get better. So. Is that why you say, is that why you say unchained or is that more so yes. the scheme? Uh, so many different things. So that's why I'm just excited to put it to, to use and excited, you know, just to, like that's why I say I want to I want to do preseason reps so I can I can put it out there so I can go study from it. You know what I'm saying? Were the nerves watching Rachel similar to the nerves you feel when you're playing, or was it worse? What, what was it like? It's worse because you when you you know you got somebody you care about you can't. You, you can't control that situation. You just have to sit there and be a bystander. I can go sit there and work. I can go get in the gym. I can go study, and I can control what I do out there in the field. But when you're rooting for somebody, I can't imagine when I got kids. I'm going to be pissed. Like, I'm going to be on the stands like, like you can't go out there and just, like, you know, help them. So it's worse when you're, like, rooting for somebody, you know.